big welcome for James O'Connor and Seamus Hickey. <laughs> Pleasure, very welcome. Uh, Seamus, obviously you'd prefer not to be here uh, preparing for a championship match tomorrow. Can you tell us the, what the latest situation is with your, your injury? Oh yeah, no, I, I suffered a bad old break uh, against uh, Han in the, in the club championships. It's just one of those misfortunate things. I went up for a high ball and if you don't protect yourself adequately you end up in these situations. But um, I had, was in with a consultant yesterday. It's borderline whether they want to wire it up or not, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping it heals on its own. So uh, it's just it's one of these things. I, I've never had an injury at this stage of the, the year where you've missed the championship and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's just it's just one of these things. I'm not the first person that happened to us. I'm not the last. Um, Jamesy, how long did it actually take you at the end of your career to be able to be detached, or are you in any way detached ever watching the Clare hurlers now? I don't think you're ever totally detached. I mean. Uh, you know, you're always, I suppose, trying to hurl every ball, and that's the nature of it. Uh, I suppose, I think it was 2005, it was my first year out of it, and, uh, you know, they, they got to the other, and didn't play well in the Munster Championship, they were played pretty poorly, I think, against Tip, uh, and were knocked out, but they came back to the qualifiers, regrouped, and they probably should have beaten Cork in that Ireland semi-final. And um, I just... Series of wides at the end. Yeah, you know, it was Cork in fairness to them, I mean, they, they kept their composure, um, I think took off Ronan Curran, um, and I think you know, it was Brian Cork and River and Garrett in centre back and Cork powered back into it and they won by a couple of points in the end but I remember being in the stand after that game and you know not being able to move speechless you know uh, you'd hurl every ball and in one sense people were saying at the time you know jeez if only we had James the end at that stage like I was well gone from it uh, you know had no business been out there and, and maybe I made the right decision um, to go but certainly I don't think when you've when you've been involved like that you ever fully uh, you're ever you're ever fully removed from it is there confidence heading into a game against Tipperary I mean you know now is probably the best time to play this Tipperary team there's a few doubts about them there's been a bit of a bit of mumbling going on is the is that true is it actually a good time to play them and is there confidence well I, I I'm a firm believer always looking looking in house but rather than actually looking at who you're playing anyway I I just believe that anyway and you know it's a good time to play Tipperary after after appearing in an all Ireland final and, and hurting from it so I don't know if there is a good time but um, it's very very important and I feel that let's say even Watford in the Munster final last year and Clare when they played Tipperary last year it's it's your own belief and it's your own it's your own view of yourself ultimately to decide. The last 15 minutes, a lot of people will say, oh, you know, fitness told out in the end. I've, I just believe it's, mental, it's a mental fatigue and a, and a, and a, lack, of, a lack of concentration in the end that, that just doesn't see you over the line. And, you know, do you believe you're good enough to beat this Tipperary team? And that's what it comes down to, I think. And uh, I think for us on, on well, say tomorrow now when the ball's thrown in, we have to fully believe we can beat Tipperary. And I truly do. Like, I, I, I played it and beat the Tipperary team in championship, you know, and I wouldn't, f I wouldn't hold any fear for them, you know. So, it's, it, it has to be, it has to come from yourself. It hasn't be a question of, oh, they're minus this many players or whatever, you know. Lars, Lars is still there lurking around that squad. Yeah. And you know, they, they've got a very powerful bench tomorrow. So, you know, you look at their team. It mightn't be as settled as it was last year, but you know, it's still a, it's still a very formidable team. Yeah.